Uh, a sequel to Tenacious D's Pick of Destiny is on the way, and I was so excited reading this because I thought this was never gonna happen. <laughs> I because they have you ever seen the short they released after Pick of Destiny talking about how much yes. it failed yes. and like you know like the relapse that they went through and everything. Yes, <laughs> like making do well. I, it bombed and everything. Yeah, because it didn't. It, it really didn't do well. I oh remember God, when, no, man! I remember when it came out in two thousand. It got such a following because of Comedy Central. I think picking it up and airing it a lot. It got a it got a big DVD called Following. Yes, I think. That that it was um I, I and here's here's the funny thing about that movie is that w- when it came out I remember seeing the poster it's like the poster when they're imitating the holy picture you know when they're reaching out to like touch uh the fingers on one yeah. another you know what I'm talking about is that when I saw the poster for that thing I was like what is this and keep in mind I was 10 keep in mind oh, I, yeah, I didn't know what tenacious D was until I saw the movie no and then I saw it years later because I didn't see it when it first came out I saw it years later and it was like man this thing's friggin great <laughs> and like I I, I I rented the soundtrack I wound up buying it too um I wound up buying the pick a destiny soundtrack and, and it's so good I always love um the real quick um mo the real quick uh Mozart, Ve- Beethoven, kind of Bach-inspired song, Classico. The one in the very beginning, that's yeah. a great one. Um, Kickapoo is a great song. I love the duel between them and Satan. Yeah, pi- <laughs> uh, I was going to say, pi- Pick a Destiny, too, is just awesome yeah. as, w- as well. You know what I or mean? Or Storm the Gates. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so here's the thing, though. Um, and this is the funny thing, is because uh, Tenacious D has an album coming out, they say this year, too, called uh, Post Apocalypto. And the other thing is that um, Bl- uh, Jack Black said that it's coming out. He actually gave a uh, somewhat of a date. He said it's going to come out in October of this year, mm-hmm. which is quick. And he said, he said, I don't know where you'll be able to see it, but we've decided that it's happening and it's coming out and it's slated for an October release. Um, I don't know if we'll see this thing in theaters. First off, I don't know who the hell's backing this thing. You know what I mean? Like, let yeah. Because the first one, here's the thing. The first one was not really a cheap movie, given what it was. It cost $20 million and made about 13 oh. So it did. So, I mean, that was not a cheap movie. Like, for a movie like that, it wasn't cheap. Um, you think this could be a Netflix movie? I, I think that would be the safest way to do it. Yeah. I don't think... I would think, like, here's the thing. I was expecting, because I was expecting them when I first heard this, I was expecting them to go the Super Troopers 2 route. Crowdfund it? I was expecting them to crowdfund yeah, That's not it. a bad idea, because, I mean, they have a good fan base, and I would totally support this. I, th- I think that they could do it. I, I think that they could reasonably crowdfund this thing, but it sounds like it sounds like something is already in the works that we don't know. Yeah. That's what it sounds like, because, like I said, they already talk, and again, it's just words, but they're talking... Um, they're they're estimating an October release date. Um, that's what Jack Black said for the movie or for the album. Uh, for for the mo- for the movie. Okay. For the oh, actual, okay. For the actual all right. movie. Oh, all right. You know. <laughs> so that's uh, that's surprising. Uh, that's that, uh, really soon. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Um, I'm excited though. I think there's a lot of potential for this thing. Uh, I and I think that like Kyle Gass and Jack Black have a special chemistry. It was funny. We we're just talking with uh, Buddy off air, and we were saying too how like um, that was the first appearance of Tenacious D was in the 1996 movie Biodome. Yeah, which has now become a cult thing. It's actually a movie I love to watch. It's the Paulie Shore Stephen Baldwin movie, and they're in it uh, in the Save the Rainforest rally. They're in the same the Rainforest rally. That's the first ever. Um, appearance of Tenacious D. Yeah. So Bido might be, in a lot of people's opinions, an awful movie, but it's also, um, it's also, it's all, not a lot of bad movies can claim it's the first appearance of uh, Tenacious D. Tenacious D. You know, it's got I mean? that going for it. Yes, absolutely. But I look forward to it. I, I think that it, I think that it would absolutely be something that the culture could use. And again, in an era where like Super Troopers two can do well. I mean, look, here's the other thing. All the crap sequels that they've made, Super Troopers 2, Zoolander 2, Joe Dirt 2. Yeah. You know what I mean? All the... Why not get a Tenacious D sequel? Why not get a yeah. Tenacious D sequel? And I mean, again, I would, th- I think, though, that if you're going to do it, Netflix would be the best route, or if you wanted to partner with Comedy Central. Hell, I think Comedy Central, that would be smart. Actually, yeah. That would be a good, like, cable TV revival, too. Like, yeah. To do, I mean, like, so many movies, you, like, go straight to Comedy Central, go straight to FX, you know what I mean? It does, I, I don't know why, but, like, I feel like made-for-network movies are kind of like a thing of the past. I don't really think that they do too many of them anymore. Was, I mean, it was so big when we were growing up, like, especially on Fox. Fox 
Fox had like big ones. CBS like every year. used to have one every Sunday. I yeah. know for a brief time they had like riding in cars with boys. The Rosie O'Donnell, or not that that one. It's um. Uh, riding the bus with my sister with Rosie O'Donnell. Uh, <laughs> I, I totally butchered that title. But no, they, they, I remember when we were growing up, though, they used to always have those made for TV movies mm-hmm. and stuff. Like, I mean, Lifetime still does, but I mean, you don't get those a lot. Well, that's anymore. what Lifetime makes its money on. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, but, but I would love to see this. I would, I, too. I, I would love to see this be on Netflix. I think that would be the safest place to bring it. I think that would be the best place to bring it. Um, and I would love to see another like great Tenacious D sound, movie soundtrack because it's Likewise. it's it's one of my favorite uh, musicals because I, I love rock music so it's like getting a rock uh, musical is really good. I, I, <laughs> I, I love it so much. <laughs> I, I, I agree. And you, rock operas you don't get a lot. Yeah, of that kind you of don't. Thing. Like we had that uh, Restrepo. Yeah, or, I think that's what it's called. Uh, Re- Repo. Repo, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Repo. Well, the guy, the Restrepo's guy goes, the war document. Yeah, 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 yeah Repo, yeah, Repo, or you know, Repo the genetic opera. Yeah, Repo the genetic. Th- opera. There's that one, and like I think Tenacious D, and that's it. Yeah, really, you don't get a lot. Yeah, and and I get it's a risky genre. It's 